Ephesians 1 is speaking about the reality of the resurrected, ascended Christ. But he has to bring you into the equation. So chapter 2 says, and you. In other words, what happened to you? While he was being raised up, what about you? Where do you fit in this Christ equation? Where do you fit? So he now goes and says, and you. Now let's talk about you. Because we can be religious and just leave this whole discussion at the level of Jesus. All right? Which is religion. Religion puts Jesus up there and puts me down, down, down. That's religion. It sounds noble, but it's error. It's not the new creation. The new creation is not down, down. He's up, up. Are you with me? So he has to deal with this, this reality. So he says, and you, in other words, let's talk about you. You, he made alive. Hey. Oh my God. Oh my God. You, he made alive. Somebody say, I'm not dead. Say, I'm alive. Now, if you're not born again, you are dead, though. If you're not born again, you are dead. But if you are born again, you are alive. You are alive unto God. The spirit of life has imparted life to you. You are full of life. Not just human life. You're full of divine life. Say amen, somebody. Shout, I'm alive. Shout, I'm alive. Shout, there's no death in me because I'm alive. Shout, I'm full of life. 